Hey guys, what's up? I'm bringing you guys another video here today. And this video is going to be really quick. Um, it's going to be a response video. Um, it's going to be easier to tell you guys and make a tutorial about it rather than trying to make out a long comment and try to explain it more and more and more. I think it would just have been better to make a quick video. So let's get on to today's video. In today's video, I'm answering a comment that basically is wondering how to add themes in Visual Studio. So I'm starting off with a fresh project. As you guys can see, it's just created my test application. Um, so the very first thing that you have to do, you can either come up to um, Project and then click Add Class, which it's very simple. you got to add a class no matter what for a theme. Or you can click um, right-click on your application name up here and click Add either new item or class so I'll just I do this I just right click and then go hover over add and then class and then you can name this like theme one or something you can name it whatever you want and just click add and then this becomes your theme now the next thing that we're gonna be doing is adding the theme text which basically I have a bunch of themes like pre saved right here so for an example here's theme here's like the themes code like this is all made up of as a theme some of them can be saved as a text file and whatnot but um, I'm not gonna like well I'll add one just to show you guys what it looks like so you just go like this copy it and then make sure you erase the public class and end class and then just paste in the entire code from the theme that you copied from and then go to project or go to build and then rebuild your application now go into toolbox go all the way up to the top and here's all of the components that you just compiled from that theme so we can actually you know comp see some of these might just have theme on them like this one this is actually the entire theme container so it changes the complete background of the uh, form but yeah, you can just keep on adding all the different form controls. Um, some themes can be added together, but if you try to add more than one theme, it usually has compile errors, so try to stick to one theme. But I just erased all the controls. So let's just remove this theme from um, my project. And then let's go back to here and rebuild it so it can be cleaned again. Now one cool thing that I'm gonna believe be, uh, excuse me one thing I'm gonna be leaving in the description is this nifty tool um, it's gonna be a link to the download so you guys can get it too but it's a tool where you start it up and it has a collection of all Visual Studio themes and some of them are really really good so let's you know scroll through these you know there's a bunch of them um, I don't know I'm just gonna stop on one just to show you but basically you just like find a really cool theme like I don't know there's just a bunch I'll just pick you know the Facebook theme so then you go over to code and usually in the first parts of the code like I'll try to find a theme that has it it'll say like theme base um some of them might already have it um like inherited and it's already in the code but some of them you might have to like if it's if there's an error in Visual Studio when you import it and it's asking about um, a theme base, you want to get probably the latest one and save selected base and then, like I'll show you what it will do. It'll pop up this and it'll save it as a VB file. Just place it in your uh, project folder. And then, uh, so yeah, so I'm going to be getting the Facebook theme just to show you guys. Where did it go? right here so I'll go over to code just right click and select all on copy I'm not gonna need any of this anymore so let's add a new theme class again so just go down to class you know we can just name this theme and then make sure to replace everything in the file as this new text and then just click um, build and rebuild project rebuild succeeded and you go back up to toolbox it has replaced all my controls with the Facebook ones instead of the other theme so we can put the theme container now it looks like a Facebook um, theme and this goes for all themes that you uh, like import via text 
and you can import a theme like this just right click like this like let's say you already have a VB theme and you don't want to play like create a class and then paste the text you can actually just right click here add a new file and click existing item and let's say because I'm already in my project folder I'll go into like Raven security Raven and then here's like the Resio theme that I have you just add that <coughs> excuse me guys um as you guys can see like I said if you have a lot of these uh, themes like compiled it will um, throw a bunch of errors so I'm gonna erase my other theme real quick well before that let me delete this and then delete this and then I'm gonna rebuild and then you go over toolbox and then here's all the Resio theme stuff so let's say you want the tab control there that's what that looks like I can change this back to the normal um, normal form because it doesn't look too well if I can find the border style so yeah that's basically all you have to do and yeah that's how you import themes I hope hopefully this has been like informative and you guys know how to uh, do this now it's very straightforward but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please leave a like comment if you have any uh, issues on importing stuff sometimes you might have to change a few things around or edit the theme but for more for the most part they're just easy just doing that and importing them that way um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like and I'll see you guys in another video peace